Hey everyone, it's Alicia with Pretty Much Me, and today we are going to work on the knit stitch. So what you're going to need for today's lesson are the 20 stitches that we cast on, and um, if you missed the first lesson, uh, go to Pretty Much Me and search up the long tail cast on, and we're going to start with our 20 stitches. We're going to need our knitting needles, and of course we're going to need our, our yarn. So today we are going to learn to knit. So it's important to remember the difference between our tail and our working yarn. The working yarn is attached to the ball. You'll be very frustrated with me and yourself if you work with your tail because you'll run out and have to start again and we don't want that to happen. So we're going to take our right needle which will be empty and we're going to have our left needle which has our stitches on it. And you'll know you've completed a row when your right needle is full and your left is empty. So I have a rhyme to help you remember. And it goes something like this. In through the front door, run around back, out through the window, and off jumps Jack. So what does that mean? Well, it means this. We take our right needle, we go into that front leg of that stitch, we take our working yarn attached to our ball, we wrap it around our right needle, we swoop down with the right, and we remove the stitch from our left needle. Let's do that again. Go in that front leg of the stitch, we wrap around, we swoop down, and we take the stitch off. In through the front door, run around back, out through the window, and off jumps Jack. I find with some of my beginner classes that we fight with Jack a lot. That last stitch coming off, sometimes we really wrestle to get him off and we get a little angry and frustrated. So try to keep your shoulders down, take deep breaths. Remember that knitting eventually becomes relaxing. We don't want to be too stressed out. We want to have fun. So keep those shoulders down. Make sure you keep breathing and try not to break your needles on your first time out here. So we're going to wrap around, swoop down, and off. Go in, wrap around, swoop down, and off. So a couple of things to keep in mind with the yarn that you chose. I hope you chose something that you really like, that you have a color you really like. Uh, I would like you to have a worsted weight or a bulky. This is a bulky yarn. And size 8 or 9 or 10 needles for your first time out I think would be appropriate. We don't want to be too small. And we want to make sure our yarn's not too small because that can get frustrating. So in, around, down, and off. In, around, down, and off. And you want to take care to choose a yarn that you really like the feel of and needles that you really like the feel of. I find that the quality of the tools that you use impact the quality of your final project. So make sure it's yarn and needles that you really, really love and you like working with. Um, and you'll find that you'll have a lot more success. We have two more stitches, and then I'll show you how we start our next row. Very exciting. Yes, you should celebrate. You should do your happy dance because you just knit your first row. Congratulations. Now, what was our right needle is now going to switch, and it's going to become our left needle. Now we have our right needle, which is empty again, and we're going to fill it up with these stitches from our left. So. We take our working yarn, pull it to the back a little bit for that first stitch, just so that you can see plainly where you need to put your, your needle in. It goes into that front leg of the stitch, we wrap around, we swoop down, and we come off. Go in, around, down, and off. In, around, down, and off. Now I want to talk about a couple of the mistakes that I see people make the first time out first mistake that I see is that sometimes we wrap and we pull out but we don't take the stitch off we don't complete the stitch we keep working into Jack we keep putting more stitches into this one stitch but that's a big no-no we don't do that because now we're gonna have more stitches than we're supposed to have let's undo those we only want one stitch and a good way to check and see if you're doing it right is to count up the stitches on both of your needles and make sure that you only have 20 stitches. Make sure that you've not added or subtracted. Make sure you're removing the stitch to finish. Another mistake that I sometimes see the first time out, you go to knit a stitch, you wrap it or you think you wrapped it, your wrap falls off, 
but you still pull that stitch. So you might not notice right away that you've made a mistake, but if you turn and look at the back of your work, your working yarn is attached to this stitch, but it's not attached to this one that we just put on. So we need to fix that. The way we're gonna fix that, we're gonna move that stitch back. We're gonna try again. We're gonna knit that stitch. We go in, around, down, and off. Now flip and see, oh yes, we're good. See now our working yarn is attached to that last stitch. Yes, we are okay, we can move ahead. Keep on trucking, we're gonna keep knitting, okay? So in, around, down, and off. In through the front door, run around back, out through the window, off jumps Jack. Around, down, and off. Another thing that might happen, it doesn't happen with this yarn very much, but with other yarns, sometimes you'll get it. It'll be split. Here, let me show you what that would look like. See, oh, look at that. See, I put my, my needle right through the middle of that stitch. We don't want that to happen. That's gonna make our work messy. and It'll be hard to see. Make sure you go through a stitch nice and neatly like that. Okay, so we don't wanna split stitches. Another thing that might happen, oh, uh-oh, that stitch just popped off the needle. Now, if that happens, you need to stop you need to take the time and put that stitch back on your needle and then you're ready to go again, okay? The last thing that I wanna talk about today that might happen is if you accidentally wrap your yarn but there's no stitch attached, then what you'll end up with is something called a yarn over. See how right now we have a hole? And sometimes yarn overs are good but today we're not doing yarn overs so that's not something we want. So to go back and take that off, Take your left needle, put it into the stitch under like this. See, we have a stitch on the needle. I want to go to the stitch under that. Go back. We're going to unknit that stitch. Then we're going to unwrap the yarn. See, now our yarn's back. We're good. We're ready to knit. Now we can move on. So we're going to finish these last few stitches. And I would like to remind you guys that this is another fine, new fine motor skill. So it might not be comfortable holding your needles. It might not be comfortable. It might be saying, oh, how do I hold my yarn? Do I wrap it? What do I do? This is something that you're going to get used to as you start knitting. You're gonna figure out what's comfortable for you and positioning that works for you. All right, we just finished our second row of our knitting. And so I have homework for you. If you would like to keep on with your knitting lessons with Pretty Much Me, I want you to work this same knitting back and forth, I want you to knit until you have about a square. It should be about 40 rows, and then you'll have a little square piece, and I'm gonna teach you how to bind it off, and that means how you would finish your work. So we're gonna bind off in our next lesson with Pretty Much Me. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe and come back for more. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much.